Hi, my name is Uzair. We are here at 7th Africa Agri Expo, which is one of the largest agriculture event in Africa. Uh, it, is, it is being held in Kenya, uh, Nairobi, at Sarit Expo Center. With me is uh, Nikhil Toshniwal, who is the Vice President of Dihar. Hi, Nikhil. How are you doing? Doing great. Uh, great event and a great gathering. Great interactions and it's been the second day. Feels like the two days are too short of a time. Uh, with the kind of people which we have interacted with uh, and indeed it's it's very much exciting Africa has always been exciting and much more about this event is exciting about is that people are talking about real business aspects people are talking about real farmer challenges and there is a great vibe and you know you can see the diaspora of big companies looking after value chain initiatives you can see distributors so Quite a great gathering and a good job to everybody behind this particular event. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, can you enlighten us a little bit about what exactly Dehat is? What are your future plans? What's in the pipeline? So, as Dehat, like you know, uh, we are a seed to market company and uh, our largely our focus had been to work to create the solution starting from pre-harvest, from you know, services at the last mile requiring advisories, soil testings, creating a bundles for each and every crop stage of the farmer such that they can adopt to that playbook for a higher profitability while there is a layer of digitization. So this is something which we have been doing by creating network, by creating a physical infrastructure, as is the digital infrastructure in India. And uh, yeah, this is something which has made us to be one of the largest agriculture, agri-tech company uh, working in around 32 plus crops in 16 districts in India, like one third of India. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's an exciting part and it's been 12 years, feels like it's just a start. Well, that's great. So tell me, how does Africa and its agribusiness be benefited? So, uh, great question first of all. Uh, if you look after the, you know, Africa firstly, uh, I will answer this question in three different parts. First, Africa and India. So, the kind of culture and the kind of farmer behavior which we see in Africa is quite similar to what we have seen in India and what we are seeing, right? You know, the cultures, the way farmer behaves, the way affordability is, the way the uh, small marginal farmer population had been. So that's one. So there's a great replicability. Now, specifically when you talk about agribusinesses, so for any agribusinesses, be it be they are in the pre-harvest or the post-harvest or the distributors, mm -hmm. we see that in, in Africa, the supply chains management, like, you know, efficacy of the resources management, efficacy in building the relationship last mile farmer, because getting the farmer is difficult. Uh, it takes an added amount of cost. So that is something, how do you build that efficiency such that you can work at the last mile? And that's something where one can create a moat upon. So majorly, agribusiness in Africa can, can think about replicability of various solutions which is being developed. Uh, at Dehat, we, it, it took us around 10 years to see a solution which can be utilized by the agribusiness and take care of various different crop value chains. And that is something which could be of great replicability uh, for any pre-harvest or the post-harvest player and to how do they digitize their transactions, how do they manage their fleet, how do they create predictability within their system. Yeah. Right, right, right. So understanding the depth of uh, your answer, I have a follow-up question for you. So what does it require for an agribusiness to taste its uh, digital journey? So uh, just like you know, uh, we have covered the roadmap of digital transformation for agribusiness in Africa. Uh, in the similar lines, I would say that for any of the agribusiness, the first thing to pick after is that go to the whiteboard and see that what is the one specific problem statement. Like you know, if they see that okay, fleet management is one of them into the floriculture, or 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 maybe you know cash handling, or maybe you know demand aggregation from the farmers. So then at Dehat, if I talk about other services, we are looking after one angle is technology, wherever technology could be replicable. So we are happy to provide technology as well as the consultancy mm -hmm. to work at the ground, mm -hmm. keeping a few of our people to work with that particular agribusiness mm -hmm. in a short pilot, maybe working with around you know, 500 to 1000 farmers, mm -hmm. so to see a quick win. So I would say that agribusinesses need to find a quick win, mm -hmm. uh, test it out, at the very micro level and when it works like you know uh, it's it's all game to scale up all across africa all right that's great so how do you see your company dehat uh, in kenya and other african countries so uh, as dehat as we as i have mentioned that you know there's a great amount of replicability and similarity between the nations so we have built a agri data stack so for kenya and other african regions we see that firstly we want to look after uh, wherever there are companies which are working into the value chain interventions, be it be they are procuring 
uh, likes of ETGs, likes of you know Mount Meru, likes of Topaz Group, uh, where they are either in the pro-harvest or the pre-harvest. So that's where I would say the you know, first thing is that to work with them and create a solution layer such that the digitization can go hand in hand and much more financing and insurance can be built such that a bundled solution get get to the farmer. So that's one angle. Secondly, uh, there are a lot of innovations around the climate smart agriculture or you know water uh, minimum water uh, usage during the agriculture. So that's where we have come across number of innovations in India. The better methods of soil testing, the better methods, the better products which can hold on the you know uh, water level. Uh, during the you know, summer days. So these are the certain innovations which can come in the form of product or services into Dehat via these agribusinesses. So these are the two areas where you can think about technology plus supply chain consultancy could be a term for it, but uh, our main aim is to work together at the farmer level. That's, that's what is going to see us to scale in Africa as well. And the going time, we look forward that you know, in the starting two to three years while working, we shall also see various value chains. Mm -hmm. Uh, just to add, like you know, uh, we are also working in terms of aggregating and looking after various fruits and vegetables which could be exported out because they are already a linkage which they had has developed from India. So with those clients, we can cover and make a very quick market linkages for Africa as well. So those are the very immediate things into our cards. While in longer term, we shall look after okay to set up a full fledged, I would say, warehousing and uh, this thing. Yeah, that's the thought process. That's right. So speaking about uh, Africa Agri Expo, how do you like the show and did you uh, find any good people to network with? Did you strike any good deals here? Good people, I have to say. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know what good people mean, but what I say is that a great passion all across. Kenya has always been a loving geography. Uh, uh, you can meet people. The good part is that you can also see a farmer level interactions. So overall Agri Expo, I would say it's very highly rich in content. Uh, it's way more specific, like you know, versus counterparts as we see, and uh, and yeah, it has been successful in building and bridging the various collaborations and discussions required. So, and I do see that there has to be continuity, which I'm going, which I, which I'm sure about is is going to happen. Uh, but yeah, overall, a great experience and a great get together. Well, uh, thank you so much, Nikhil, for partnering with us and we look forward to host you and, uh, of course, Dehat in next many editions of Africa Agri Expo. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Thank you.